Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of someone who is uninterested or not appreciating something that is in front of them. Um, this person is appearing bored or apathetic, um, you know, ungrateful. There's just something about what's being offered to them that they're at this moment not, not accepting, they're unavailable to it. Um, this can even be someone who's emotionally unavailable. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Six of Cups, Water Energy. The Judgment card, Scorpio Energy. And the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy. So it does look like this is someone who's still stuck on someone from their past. This is why they're not... Like, there's a lot of offers being presented here, but this person is not seeing them. Because there's something... There's a tie to the past. There's someone from their past that they're hoping to come back. They want a second chance with an ex. They want their past person to return to them. They are idealizing the past person or the past situation. With the Queen of Wands, there's someone from their past they, they uh, think very highly of. And um, they're holding, they're putting them on a pedestal. Like they're comparing new people to them. Um, you know, there's just this feeling of someone who is, you know, they, they haven't gotten closure from the past or they, they still have feelings. Um, and it does look like there could be some sort of reunion or reconciliation with a past person with this person because the judgment card does show an opportunity to clear the air or to even have a second chance. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something here. This person really wants the, the past person back. Um, there's this feeling of um, being, you know, holding their emotions to themselves, not giving it away. Um, this is someone who knows what they want. If this is you, there is this feeling of... Um, rather being single than to be to not be with someone else there's just this feeling of not being over someone okay so let's see okay we have the hermit virgo energy the four of pentacles earth energy and the knight of swords air energy yeah, it looks like this person is going to be pursuing someone from their past. With the four of pentacles, there's that energy again, holding on to the past lover, not not opening up to new potentials, not having room for new love because they're still holding on to the past. Um, with the hermits, this person could even withdraw from love for a while. There is just this feeling of um, this person, there's a bit of a stubborn energy here. Like they, they're not giving to anything except for this. You know, right now they, they, they may have withdrew from love in general or from anyone who is currently pursuing them because they're, they're still holding space for someone else to come back. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn 
So it does look like there will be a reunion of, with an ex. You know, if there's an ex that you feel like you couldn't get over, like you've been almost depressed without them, there's this feeling of an end of that 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 period without them. There's some sort of opportunity to reconnect with this person to get the answers that you've been longing for or the clarity or the closure or even that second chance with them. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, we have engagements. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, it looks like time apart really made someone's heart grow fonder. There's this feeling here of recognizing. Um, it's like it's just been a difficult period being apart for someone. They haven't been able to cope and they don't want to replace this person. And there is this feeling of wanting to actually commit. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, uh, Gemini. We have prosperity and compassion. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. So there's this feeling of recognizing something here. You know, someone is realizing that someone was what they they wanted, seeing the worth in someone and wanting to give something a second chance. So this could be that this person took this ex for granted and now they want them back. Or they are currently taking someone else for granted because they want the ex back. This could be a repetitive pattern here. Um, but it does look like someone wants someone to come back around so they can have a higher level of commitment this time around. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. We have surrendered to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.